I would unite with anybody to do right and with nobody to do wrong. Wow, that's a great quote. Hey, Ryan, what are you reading? A biography of Black abolitionist Frederick Douglass. It's Black History Month, and I've decided to learn something new about important Black Americans all month long. That's a great idea, Ryan. Another great Frederick Douglass quote, it's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. Well then, we better keep building. I'm Pamela Kirkland. And I'm Ryan Willard. It's Wednesday, February 1st. This is the 10 News. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Black History Month celebrates the achievements and contributions of Black Americans who have shaped our nation. This year's theme is Black Resistance, to honor Black Americans' fight against oppression. But why is our celebration of Black History in February, which is the shortest and coldest month? Well, Black History Month began as Negro History Week way back in 1926. The second week of February was chosen because it's the week Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass were born. Lincoln, of course, was the president who signed the Emancipation Proclamation ending slavery in America. Frederick Douglass was a formerly enslaved man who fought for the abolition of slavery and equal rights for black people. Wow! By the 1960s, when the civil rights movement was well underway, the week expanded to Black History Month and now is celebrated every year in the U.S. and Canada. In 2006, President Obama, the first black president, said that Black History Month shouldn't just celebrate the greatest hits of black Americans. Instead, it's about the lived, shared experience of all African Americans, high and low, famous and obscure, and how those experiences have shaped and challenged and ultimately strengthened America. So, while it's important to celebrate black history this month, it's vital that we recognize black experiences all year round. Yes! For Black History Month, we put together a list of five black superheroes we love. Really? Number one on our list is always and forever going to be Black Panther. In case you've been living under a rock, Black Panther is a black African superhero whose power comes from a mystical heart-shaped herb. Wakanda Forever was one of the biggest movies of 2022, and you can finally check it out on Disney+. Show them who we are. Fans of X-Men know there's no cooler superhero than Storm. She's a mutant who can control the weather. In the comics and the animated show, Storm is a black African. In the live action films, she's African-American. Cool! And next on our list is Miles Morales, AKA Spider-Man. Be in the moment. I am in the moment. It's a terrible moment. In Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles finds his own unique way to be a hero. Miles has two sequels coming out, Across the Spider-Verse and Beyond the Spider-Verse, and he's got an incredibly cool game on PlayStation. Nice. We could never leave out the incomparable Sam Wilson, the first black Captain America. Don't thank me. I'm not thinking that thing. His name is Red Wing. Sam started out as the Falcon, but Steve Rogers chose to pass the shield to Sam. Marvel has confirmed that Sam Wilson will be front and center in Captain America New World Order on May 3rd, 2024. Androids, aliens, and wizards. Every time we fight, we fight one of the three. And finally, we've got a brand new black superhero wrapping up our list, Lunella Lafayette, AKA Moon Girl. Moon Girl Magic! Moon Girl is described as the most intelligent character in the Marvel Universe. She's an inventor with a T-Rex sidekick. And we have an interview with the actor playing Lunella coming up next. Marvel's newest show is about a black superhero in New York City. Moon Girl is Marvel's first African-American teen girl superhero and lives by the code that one girl can make a difference. We are so excited to have Diamond White, the voice of Moon Girl, here with us today. 
All right, Tenors, we are here with a living legend, an actual superhero right here in the 10 News studio. I'm incredibly excited. So I got to know, who are you, where are you from, and what do you do? My name is Diamond White. I am an actress slash singer, and I am the voice of Lunella in Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. So who is Lunella Lafayette exactly? Lunella Lafayette is Moon Girl. She is the first Marvel African-American teenage girl superhero in her own series. Um, the show goes about Lunella, a.k.a. Moon Girl, protecting the Lower East Side of New York with her um, partner in crime, Devil Dinosaur. What makes Moon Girl different from a normal 13-year-old? Well, Moon Girl is one of the smartest superheroes in the Marvel Universe, and her superpower is her intelligence. It is her brain. Um, that's what makes her <laughs> that's what makes her different. <laughs> so does she use her intelligence to get a dinosaur? Well, she opens up a portal out of nowhere, a 300 ton red dinosaur comes out. And his, she decides to name him Devil. His name is way too complicated for her to say on an everyday basis. So she decides to name him Devil and she learns his language and they basically fall in love with each other over a couple thousand hot dogs. <laughs> Does she invent things too? She's an inventor? So yes, yeah, she's an inventor. She's a creator. Any quantum physics thing, she's into it. She creates all of her gadgets and everything she uses to protect herself from these villains. And yeah, she can make anything, solve any equation, and even make messes for herself sometimes. She goes a little bit too far. She juices things up a little bit too much sometimes. But um, her brain always gets her out of those sticky situations. Outside of being a phenomenal actor and singer, what do you, Diamond White, really care about or fight for? Honestly, representation. I grew up being, you know, a little brown skinned girl. And a lot of the times I didn't see characters that had the same skin tone as me or the same hair that I did growing up. I didn't have a character that was black and was a superhero. I mean, she's the first of her kind. So knowing that, you know, one girl can make a difference and seeing the show and how it brings that message across, um, that's something that I would have liked to see growing up. And now that I get to voice this character, it's really exciting for me to see all the younger um, girls looking up to Lunella and being like, hey, quantum physics is is cool. I love being the smartest in my class. I love being the smart kid. And that is something that I wish I would have had growing up. So it's actually really cool because Lunella is quite possibly the most relatable character in the MCU if her superpower is intelligence, right? Which means that like any kid could kind of be a superhero or be like Lunella. Exactly, exactly. And to, to add to your point, she might be one of the smartest superheroes in the Marvel Universe, but she also has her insecurities and things that she struggles with, with being a tween, you know? So since we're just talking about representation, there is one of our tenors who was wildly excited when we told her that you were going to be on this show. Uh, I was wondering, would you take some questions from her? It's one of our tenors. Her name is Saul. I would love to. Yeah, Soul, let's hear it. My name's Soul, and I like reading books, so the comic books were really fun for me. I actually think that it's going to be a really cool TV show. What's your favorite thing about Moon Girl? What's your favorite thing about Devil Dinosaur? My favorite thing about Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is their relationship, because it's not like a, oh, this is my dog or cat they actually are partners and they have this such a love for each other like devil is very protective of lunella and wouldn't let anything happen to her and there is a little tiff in the first episode where casey and devil are kind of like you know do i really trust this person because they both want to be close to um lunella but Eventually, we make a really great team, and it shows how friendship is so important. And that's one of the main um, themes of this is, like, community and friendship. And Devil and Lunella have an unbreakable bond. Like, he doesn't want to leave her after the first episode. Like, he does not want to go back into that portal. Do you get stage fright? Because I do sometimes. 
I do get stage fright. Every time I'm about to go on stage or perform, I give people the silent treatment because I'm freaking out inside, like almost peeing myself. (laughs) But as soon as I step out on stage, I pretend that everyone is just positive and they have a, they want me to do well because that that's what changed my perspective about going on stage. If I expect for people to want me to not do well, then I'll have a bad show. But if I go on stage with a positive mindset and I'm like, everyone's here to support me, then I do an amazing job. So keep keep the positivity in your head. No one wants to see you fall on your face. If I don't have superpowers, what do you think I can do f- to be a hero? To be a hero, honestly, standing up for people that don't have a voice. That is something that I do in my everyday life to feel like a superhero, spreading kindness, um, spreading good vibes. Yeah, just not letting the darkness of the world and other people's, you know, insecurities, you know, simmer and let them, you know, come out onto other people. If you see something wrong, talk about it, stand up about it, and try to be a good person, basically. Have a good heart. Diamond, you are absolutely tremendous. I am super excited to watch Boo Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Is there anything else you want to tell our tenors? Just that it's not only for the kids, it's for the teens, it's for the tweens, it's for the whole family. You can get everybody in one room. Yeah, it's a really great show for all ages, and it's a really good uh message that it brings one girl can make a difference and i'm super excited to be a part of something so incredible thanks for joining us diamond white you can watch moon girl and devil dinosaur on february 10th on the disney channel and february 15th on disney plus welcome to the trivia room wow this is so cool you have a whole room just for trivia that's right diamond white Welcome to the 10 News Trivia Room, complete with a trivia throne. Why don't you hop up on the throne and I'll give you today's trivia question. All right, this throne is comfy. Sounds good. What is going on here? Trivia on the 10. It's Black History Month and today's trivia celebrates an amazing black chemist named Alice Ball. Alice Ball was a researcher and professor and was the first woman to get a master's degree from the University of Hawaii. But do you know which disease she developed a treatment for? Is it A, leprosy, B, arthritis, or C, polio? Tenors, did you guess it? Diamond, what's your answer? I'm going to go with arthritis because when you're in school, and you're studying a bunch, you write a bunch. She was uh, uh, working with a lot of tools, so I'm gonna say she got arthritis. The answer is A. Alice Ball developed the Ball Method, the most effective treatment for leprosy in the early 1900s, and she accomplished it at only 23 years old. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Well, thank you so much for stopping by the trivia room. We really appreciate it, Diamond. Alrighty, thank you so much for having me. Tenors, do you want to sit on the trivia throne and share your trivia knowledge? Visit the 10news.com slash contact to get in touch, and we might have you on the show. And now, we've got to give special 10 News snaps to one of our listeners. But before we do, here's a quick note for the grown-ups. Hello, I'm Mick Sullivan, the host of The Past and the Curious, a history podcast for kids and families. We're excited that in addition to our show, we are able to announce a new book called I See Lincoln's Underpants. It's about the times that underwear and the people wearing them made history. It's a middle grade book and you'll learn all about Garrett Morgan's heroic pajama rescue, Amelia Bloomer's namesake undies, and the time a group of soldiers saw President Lincoln's homemade underwear, among other things. Published by Heart Ally Press, I See Lincoln's Underpants is available wherever books are sold. More info at thepastandthecurious.com. Now it's time for the 10 new snaps. Tenor Panda Bear 7398 wrote this review of the 10 news. 
Great podcast for kids from 8 to 13. Love it. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Thanks, Panda Bears 7398 and thanks for listening to the 10 News. 10 Things You Need to Know drops every Tuesday and our in-depth reports drop every Wednesday. But if you want some bonus content, you can join the Tenors Club on our website or on Apple Podcasts. The 10 News is a co-production of Small But Mighty Media and Next Chapter Podcasts. The 10 News creative team is celebrating Black resistance and includes Tracy Crooks, Pete Musto, and Tessa Flannery. Our production director is Jeremiah Tittle, and our executive producers are Donald Albright and show creator Tracy Leeds Kaplan. I'm Ryan Willard. And I'm Pamela Kirkland. Thanks for listening to The 10 News. One girl can make a difference. Hey, Ryan, you think I could be the next moon?